Hey y'all, what's up, TGIF? I feel like I'm looking sassy and sexy today. And I wanna come and talk to y'all about these lashes because I showed y'all yesterday. <laughs> girl, girl. <laughs> when I tell you these lashes, just, just look at these. Oh my God. Best lashes I've ever had. So pretty, like these lashes are and when I tell you, like, I don't know what it is, but I just felt like this is the only time in my life that I have actually put on lashes right for the first time. Because it was so easy to put these on because the band was curved and flexible. So I was just able to look, girl. So these are the baby girl lashes from Lusting Ambition, y'all. When I tell you, I'm going to get all the other looks because these lashes are so cute. Oh, these baby girl lashes got me feeling myself today, honey. But anyway, um... I need to run out this house because I got to go get my kids from daycare, y'all. I woke up late today, so I only had a couple hours to myself. And all I did was come home, take a shower, and get dressed. I was supposed to be filming a whole video, but um, I done ran out of time. I got to go get them, like, now. So I was supposed to go to the gym early and everything. And I just overslept because I was up until, like, 2 a.m. last night so or this morning. But, um, but yeah, anyway, happy Friday. I hope y'all are having a great day day i hope y'all speaking positive things over your life keep speaking positivity over your life because positivity is here for you okay and i'm here for positivity i don't even know where i was going with that but look whew, let's just praise god for a new day i'm gonna show y'all my little outfit of the day and then we're gonna get going and get these kids so here's the ootd nothing fancy i just have on this sweater from fashion nova i hardly ever wore this sweater i got it last year but yeah i really like this sweater it's cute and it's comfortable fashion nova jeans and then my payless boots girl yes come through payless i feel like grown today i feel grown like a grown mama okay mama is ice yeah we going to get ice now let's go <laughs> oh Oh, they're so good in daycare and school such a big boy we're going this way this way. Come on, go get Isaac. He's such a big boy. What did you draw, Al? He drew a crown. Let me see. <laughs> it's so cute. Look, my baby made a crown. That's nice. You drew it green. All right, come on. We go. Gotta go get Isaac. We're gonna show Isaac what you made. Is he sleeping? How you know? You think he's sleep? If it is nap time, I see somebody sleep. I don't know if that's Isaac. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, oh, he is sleep. How did you know, Al? He said Isaac sleeping. So how you know? <laughs> Isaac, did you have fun? How Al knew that, but he sure was sleep. And he woke up when he seen his mama. A boom. Where do you hear a boom at? I tell him that's what the explosives are. <laughs> Moms, they be so loud, like right by our house. They be shaking our house and they be so scared. I ain't never doing the on post living again, ever. Cause he be so scared. I just tell him, it's just a boom, like boom. Look at you getting water. When did you become such a big boy? Look, I was trying to get some too. Then you gotta go to the small one. Cause he's small, he can't reach that one. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm gonna do it anyway. Do that one, Isaac. Oh, look at Al. Yay. You got water? Go get some more water if you want some more. <laughs> look at him. So big. <laughs> Isaac's trying to get water too. Yay. What sounds? You hear the police siren? Yeah, come on, Wes. They are just so cute. Yeah, Isaac, what you see? A tree? Tree. No, Isaac. Today, Al, what did you do? I played dumb trucks. You play with dumb trucks. What else? Play with cookies? Yeah. Really? Wow, what else did you do? I, I play, with cars. play with cars. Oh, Isaac. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isaac, stop. No, no. Isaac, okay. 
All right, so I got the kiddos. We about to head home. I'm gonna attempt to film this try on haul with them in the way. <laughs> I mean, normally I get it done, kids or no kids, you know, so I'm gonna make it work, but it's just gonna take longer. Like when I film my videos with my kids at home, like girl, it just take me all day. Like literally all day, but when they gone, I'm able to just get it done, bam. That's why I'm so mad at myself that I was late this morning because I could have got it all done out the way. But you know, it is what it is. Gotta do what I gotta do. There were possibly any same day today appointment for my son. He just fell and uh, hit his eye on the corner of the table. He has like a big gash on his eye. He's okay now, but the, the gash is so deep. I don't know if it needs like medical attention as far as stitches or anything. So I wanted to see if I could get him seen. This day just whew, took a turn. Um, Isaac. You don't even want me to touch it with this bleeding. I know, I know. Like he's okay, like as far as like not crying now, but this gash is so deep, like you can't see it. But when you like, yeah. but when you like pull it, and I really don't want to touch it. Like you can see his meat. Oh my god, that is a deep cut. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, y'all, I freaked out. I freaked out because I thought he messed up his eye. Oh, come here, baby. Oh my God, y'all, I freaked out. I just, I, loved, I just lost it. I thought my baby like, oh my God, I thought he got, I thought he fell like right on his eye and I just, all I saw was blood and just, oh my God. I'm glad that he's like okay, like as far as, you know, he's not crying. He's not crying no more and you know, he's obviously feeling okay. He's just sitting here watching TV, but, oh my God. He was sitting in his high chair eating lunch right there. As y'all can see, high chair table right there. So I was sitting right here in this chair. I was taking the tray off right there and I was unstrapping him to get him out. He got up, like tried to stand up and fell. Oh fell over and hit his eye on the corner of the table. <sighs> like stuff like this is a, weather, a mother's worst nightmare. Like just anything. Anything happening to my babies is just like, oh my God, like, oh my God. <sighs> it was a lot of blood, like a lot of blood. Of course he was like crying and stuff at first so I thought it was like really really bad I thought because he was closing his eyes so I really couldn't see what was happening all I saw was blood and obviously he just clocked his eye on the table I'm thinking the worst like oh my god my baby just his eyeball exploded or something like he just hurt his eye like oh my god I just oh I just thought the worst I thought the worst got him to the bathroom with a paper towel and dabbed it and you know it's this little cut on his eye but it's a deep cut like what? I mean I feel better now that he's like okay and functioning like he always do he just don't want me to touch it and dab you know the blood up this is definitely one of the scariest scariest times of my life in this whole motherhood thing so anyway I got him luckily got him a same day appointment in about an hour so um I'm glad I was able to get him an appointment just to go ahead and be seen, just to make sure, you know, it's okay, nothing happened to his eye or, you know, if he needs stitches, but I'm gonna just definitely go get him checked out just to, just to be sure, just to make sure he's okay and this cut is, girl, I'm just, I just want to fall out right now, like, oh my god. <laughs> Don't fall, don't scrape your knee, don't bruise your eye, don't do nothing. Just, oh, uh, I want to put these kids in a bubble. I'm coming. I, Al is so sweet. Like, oh no, Isaac hurt. Like, yeah, he hurt his eye. He's trying to dab it with the paper towel. He said we need to go to the doctor. I said, you think we should go to the doctor? He said, yeah, we'll go to the doctor. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. Oh.
you're gonna be okay. <laughs> We were here at the hospital. Yeah, my husband was like, he probably yes. don't need no, but you know, I don't know. I think it's a mid day. They be like, he could just throw some cocoa butter on it. But I'm like, you know, mamas be freaking out. Like, no, I need him to go to the hospital. I need him to get checked out. I just gotta be like 1,000% sure that he's gonna be good. But Terrence, he just like throw some cocoa butter on it. <laughs> he cut his eye when he was younger too, and I just think that's so funny. Like, how are they? It's like, that's really his twin. First of all, y'all was born on the same day. Second of all, y'all look just alike. And third of all, y'all both cut y'all eye when y'all was little. Like, that's just, that is crazy. But, um, but yeah, um, I just, I have to be sure. Like, that cut is deep. It don't look like it from when you're just looking at it. But when you, like, lift it up, it, you can see his white meat. Like, that is a deep cut. So I'm just that mama that got to, mm -mm, I gotta make sure. I gotta be... Like, no, I'm, mm. <laughs> I'll be up at night thinking like, what if it did something else and something else going on or what if this and what if that? So we just making sure. Yes, uh, Isaac, even though he is totally fine. You want to sit down? Isaac was singing Rain Rain Go. It is raining outside. I'm so glad I brought my umbrella. But Isaac sing, sing, say Rain Rain Go Away. Come on, can I not? So loud. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, I didn't even see these up here. Say butterfly. You broke it, eyes L. I can't even fix that one. It's like broke. Yeah, you wanna ride the monster truck on the chair? Oh, you is wheeling it on them three wheels. Oh what? Use your words. It's broke. It's, it's, just, it's broke. It's just wheel. It's okay. You can have a three wheel monster truck. It's just broke. Real monster truck. Mm hmm. Where's the wheel? It's wheel. Where? Real oh, this is what you were pointing at. You put the wheel right there. <laughs> Isaac is pissed off already. He ain't even want to get his little. Uh, blood. What is it? I can't think right now, but you all know when they put the little thing on the baby's no. toe <laughs> to get the heart rate and stuff. He just, he just having a fit. But no. She said they're going to put some yeah. thermo glue on it. I asked her what that was. She said it's like a skin glue and they use uh, they can use that like instead of stitches. I think that's pretty cool. I knew it. I knew I should have brought him in because this cut is deep. Like when I say you can see the white meat on this thing, it's, it's, Boy. it's not funny. I pulling my camera. If you, yeah. you break it, you gon' you gonna pay for it. I'm gonna take money out your college tuition to pay it to pay for his camera. I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, so I guess they gonna glue him up. I, like I said, I never heard of skin glue, but I think that's pretty cool. That way I ain't gotta put, you know, needles in my baby. And especially it being right on his eye. Yeah. No. I don't know if you could touch that. Oh, I they both love you two kids. Yeah, it's 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 definitely official. I gotta give both of them a tablet. Oh, one of y'all, one of my boo things told me to get um look into the Kindle, a kid Kindle thing. So I'm gonna look into that too. But they both are getting some sort of tablet or something for Christmas. So they, I'm telling you, my phone is on 14 percent. Okay. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. He's such a good big brother. He was so concerned for Isaac. <laughs> but is he all better, Al? Yeah. yeah. Did Isaac go to the doctor? Yeah. Say so he's all better. <laughs> he's so sweet. Look at my baby. Oh, Tutu. Al is so sweet. He gave Isaac the phone because Isaac was crying. <laughs> 
So Al was just like, here, you can have it. Al is just the sweetest, nicest big brother you could ever ask for. Ain't that right, Al? Say, I'm a good big brother. No? Oh, okay. I'm so glad it's over. My baby was not having it, even though it was, you know, a painless procedure. But they just had him, like, swaddled so he wouldn't be moving all over the place. So he was just like, ah, get me out of this. But that took no time at all. It was literally, like, five minutes, less than five minutes. And I, you, you know what, y'all? I've been talking some stuff about Irwin Army Community Hospital. But I think my faith is restored because we saw a new doctor today. And he was bomb, okay? He knew what he was talking about. He answered all of my questions about this glue stuff. Like, he just, he knew what he was talking about. He was an older guy. And I don't know why I just trust old people so much. Maybe. <laughs> With age comes experience and wisdom. And I just felt like he was the best doctor I've ever seen at this hospital. He just, he was on his stuff and really made me feel comfortable because he knew what he was doing. So, they got my baby all glued up. It's, it was literally super glue. Medical grade super glue. Like, they got like a little fancy name for it, but he was breaking it down to me. He was like, it's literally super glue. It's medical grade super glue. They invented it 25 years ago at the Kansas, at Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, and it replaces the need for sutures and stuff. I mean, obviously some things still need sutures, but um, it's basically like a new, new technology type of thing where like these minor cuts and stuff they don't need stitches you could just glue it together like <laughs> glue the skin together that's it he said it heals up just about the same as it would with stitches and like a year from now you'll see like if it left any mark and he just assured me that since the mark was so like in a straight line and it was small that it's most likely gonna heal up like you're not gonna even be able to tell it was there call completed yeah. what you do who you calling It was so, it was so funny. Isaac had my phone, and the next thing I know, he knocked out. I'm like, wait a minute, where is my phone? Somebody found it and turned it into customer service for me. Thank you. I just thought that was so funny though, because I didn't even notice he was sleeping. Now I thought about it, like, wait, my phone. He had my phone. Where is it? Y'all, the struggle is real. Look at this. I'm loaded. My str my stroller is loaded. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> now this is just a shame. Now, this is a shame. <laughs> Thank God for the um the baggers because girl, I don't know what I would have done <laughs> trying to go ahead, boo. <laughs> go ahead, boo. I call everybody boo. <laughs>
up groceries, cleaning the fridge. It's a whole workout. Still not done. Got all my dry foods to put up. But I like to clean out my fridge every month, if not more. You know, just whenever I feel like it needs to be cleaned and organized. So, oh, I'm, I am happy I got it organized. I still got to organize my freezer. I got to, you know, gut that out too. But I'm going to worry about that later. I am ready to eat something. And I got to cook something. So, I got to get started. Oops, I'm spilling popcorn. This boom, chicka popcorn. So good. Here. I got kettle corn and then I got the um, cheddar and caramel and cheddar. Oh, this is my jam right here. Don't they call it what? Chicago mix? Y'all, mm, I can't remember what brand it was, but it was one brand that topped them all with the whole Chicago mix, cheddar and caramel. I think, I don't know, it was so long ago. I think I got it from Sam's, but it was just the best popcorn. I ever had and I have not been able to find it again but if y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all go to Sam's please let me know cuz I would drive all the way how far is Sam's an hour from here I would drive an hour just to go get that popcorn again like for real it was so good anyway I'm trying to decide what I want to cook I need to make a decision cuz it's getting like late I guess y'all see what I cook after this clip <laughs> 